Hello everyone. Welcome to Manupatra's Law and Legal News podcast. Let us begin with the news highlights for 30th September. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Honorable Supreme Court has held that the lion sculpture installed atop the new parliament building under construction as a part of the Central Vista project does not violate the State Emblem of India Prohibition of Improper Use Act 2005. The honorable court while observing the questionable conditions of jail in this country has suggested that to the central government the idea of private jails and recommended to have large corporate as part of their corporate social responsibility to build jails. The honorable supreme court while directing superintendent of Taloja jail to take Gautam Navlakha to a hospital of his choice immediately for a thorough medical checkup has held that the right of an under trial to receive medical attention would be a fundamental right moving on to the high courts the delhi high court has granted bail to the former jnu student sharjil imam in a sedition case which accuses him of delivering a provocative speech that allegedly led to violence in the jamia nagar area in 2019 The Bombay High Court while granting permission to Ram Dispate Plot Owners and Residents Association to organize its Navratri festival including dandiya and garba performance in a silence zone has held that religious celebration can still be performed in a purely traditional and religious way. The Kerala High Court while dismissing state government's appeal against an order directing it to the release funds of KSRTC has held that the appeal is infractious. The Kerala High Court has held that possession of higher qualifications by candidate in selection process presupposes acquisition of lower qualification and where candidate doesn't hold essential qualification but higher qualification the same couldn't be taken to disqualify the candidate. The Karnataka High Court has held that section 30 of the Advocates Act only confers the right on the advocates to practice and it does not confer any right on any advocate to park his or her vehicle inside or outside the court premises. The Karnataka High Court has held that under the Workmen's Compensation Act there are no provisions prohibiting blood relatives to be employer and employee. The Allahabad High Court has initiated so motor criminal contempt proceeding against two litigants for filing forged documents before the High Court and issued non-bailable warrants of the arrest against them. The Allahabad High Court has held that it is not mandatory for the High Court to summon the lower court in every case before deciding the state government's application for granting of leaves to appeal against an acquittal order as provided under section 378 subsection 3 of the CRPC. That is all for today. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.